Hi, this is Jeff with Mr. Hardwater. When you're working with your blast kits and your hoppers and your media and carburetors, there's a couple things you really need to pay attention to. And usually people are going to get into trouble using this type of system when they're, pull, when they're stopping and starting the trigger a lot. When you're stopping and starting the trigger, what you do is you lose your uh, venturi suction in the hose. And it's very, once you lose that suction, it's very difficult to get it reestablished. But there's a few tricks that will help you to get it reestablished quickly. Generally, if you've got a good pressure and you're cleaning well, everything's going good, you pull your finger off the trigger, what happens is once you pull the finger off the trigger, media is going to want to flow into the tube and you're going to have a lot of excess material sitting around in the tube. Then what's going to happen is it's going to be harder to create that uh, suction again because you've got so much mass in there. So what you want to do to get it started again is to clear the line out of all the media. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can just pull the, uh, the hose off of the, uh, the blast head and the stake and you can kind of drain it out. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to just continually uh, kind of work it out with your thumb. Meaning that what you do is you pull the trigger, you continually have your finger on the trigger so you're creating suction and you you open and close the uh, the hose here, and what it's going to do is it's going to systematically pull that media through the hose and work its way to the blast head. You're not going to get a good suction again until you get the hose line uh, free of all the abrasive media and until you get air back into the line. So that's one trick on keeping these systems working.